Welcome to the latest instalment on the build of the Flare SE5A. Well, as you can see, it looks a little strange here that there's covering on part of the model, but I've been working on the engine bay cowling. I needed to cover it before I could actually attach these dummy engines. Now, the key to this uh, in the design is to increase the airflow for the four-stroke engine. Now, the engine actually protrudes from here and this other opening, I believe, on the prototype was to facilitate a different type of engine which was used on an earlier SE5A. These dummy engines have, apart from obviously being a scale feature, they have another function in that once the lumps of balsa have been shaped and formed and I've added a few little extras such as the flanges, uh, the bolts, flanges on the exhaust. But once these have been completed, they're hollowed out. And if I take this off, I can show you they have now been hollowed out to allow air to flow right through and out of the cowl. I've added these extra holes on, which were on the prototype, obviously to access parts of the engine. Uh, they're not shown on the flare plans, but they do... I think uh, allow more potential for air to escape from the engine bay. Now there are holes in the bottom uh, of the engine bay which I also will allow air to flow through. So I'm hoping all in all these added features will assist in ventilating the engine bay and keeping that engine nice and cool when it's running and going off to fight the hun. So more updates to come. Bye now.